In this short video, I will demonstrate the proper troubleshooting procedure for a faulty auxiliary electric heater on the heat pump simulator. The electric heater provides supplemental heat to the heat pump when the temperature outside drops below the heat pump's balance point. Let's start by clicking on the start button on the phone. Next, proceed to the thermostat by clicking the thermostat icon. Once at the thermostat, click the selector switch to heat. This will also turn up the temperature setting of the thermostat, ensuring that both stages of heat should be activated. Next, let's take a brief inventory of the electrical loads that are operating, starting at the outdoor unit. Click on the outdoor unit icon and we can see that the outdoor fan motor is operating and it sounds like the compressor is operating also. Again, if you can't hear the compressor, a simple way of verifying its operation is to take the clamp on ammeter from the toolbox and place it at the compressor connections. And we can see we have amperage here, so the compressor is in fact operating. We're going to store the clamp on ammeter and close the covers back up. Next, let's go to the indoor unit. The indoor unit, we should have the indoor blower operating. This can be verified by taking the cover off and observing the graphic on the side of the indoor blower motor. And we can see here that it is in fact operating. Last but not least, the electric heater should be energized at this point since we turned the setting on the thermostat up enough to activate both stages of heat. The electric heater is located up above here right click to center it in your field of view and remove the cover. As we can see, the heater is not functioning. The heater should be glowing at this point. So we definitely have an issue with the heater. At this point, let's take out the electrical diagram and determine what our possible causes are here. In looking at this, we can see that we have the electric heaters here, second stage. We have the auxiliary heat relay contacts and the auxiliary heat relay coil, which is powered by terminal W2 on the thermostat. Our possible causes at this point are, in fact, the W2 function of the thermostat, the auxiliary heat relay coil or contacts, or the electric heater. Let's take a look. Storing the electrical diagram away, Let's begin by going down to the control panel. Again, I'm going to right click to center that in my field of view. And let's see if in fact we have voltage coming from the auxiliary heat relay shown here to the electric heater. Take the volt ohm meter out of the toolbox, turn the selector dial to AC volts, and place the leads of the meter at the load side of the auxiliary heat relay shown here. Again, you may want to zoom in to properly place your leads. We can see that we do have 240 volts going to the electric heater. This means that not only is the relay functioning, but the thermostat and the relay coil are also functioning. At this point, we want to check the wiring connections and then do a resistance check of the electric heater. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn the power off. I'm going to turn the selector dial to resistance or ohms on the meter. I'm going to go back up to the heater and first and foremost we need to disconnect the heater or isolate it in order to check resistance. Click disconnect wire. This will isolate the heater for us. At this point take the leads of your ohm meter and place them at the glowing hot spots on the electric heater we should obtain a measurable resistance here under normal conditions. And as we can see, we have a reading of infinite ohms, which verifies that the electric heater is in fact open and needs to be replaced. To replace it, simply click on the heater and click replace. The repair summary states this will cost $140. We're going to proceed. And in fact, this corrects our problem. We now have 10 ohms, which is normal for the heater. Our next step is to put the meter back in the toolbox and reconnect the wires. 
don't forget to turn the power back on and replace all caps and covers on the unit. Last but not least, click on the broom to clean the work area. Good luck!